Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my new video. Today I have a super fun and gorgeous project for you. I will be creating a wishing well, which is a money box out of craft sticks. Craft sticks are the main uh, element here, main ingredient for our project. I used about uh, two packs, not the whole packs, in each pack there was 30 uh, sticks, so a little bit more than one pack. My sticks are about 2 cm wide and 15 cm long. And um, it's, it's really easy to make, don't be scared, but that project requires a little bit of time. So I would suggest you to do it in two days or with a few hours apart. So first part is to make the base and paint it and then when everything is dry, decorate it. All the measurements and quantities of the sticks you need, you need for each step I will provide for you on the screen. I'm starting with the bottom of the wishing well, then I will create the uh, roof and then the, I will join those parts together. The bottom has uh, about 10 centimeters across the, the base, so I was using the old um, roll for, uh, from a tape to adhere my sticks to and then I will also add a um, strip of paper, this is a heavyweight paper, on the uh, top part inside just to make it slightly, uh, slightly stronger. But if you had a wider tape and you have the roll uh, much wider than mine, then you don't need to add the paper. So that will be the uh, like the bottom part actually uh, almost ready. We need to add something on the very bottom of it and then on the uh, top of it inside I'm going to add another circle. I'm using a piece of chipboard here and I will cut a little hole in the center because I want my uh, wishing well to be a money box. This will go to my niece. I'm sure she will love it. It's a very pretty uh, project and I was creating something similar weeks ago. I had that uh, wishing well in a, like a vintage style, autumn style, and I had so many requests uh, for making a video and uh, this time I decided to do it. So I'm really hoping that I will inspire you to create a similar project. It is really nice uh, uh, project to, to make, very fun and you can do, decorate it in many different ways. I thought about another version like a white uh, wishing well with blue flowers would look just amazing. For the roof part I'm showing you how to make uh, one uh, one side but of course you need to make two uh, identical pieces and then I will um, glue them together.
When the base is ready, it's time to paint it. I used acrylic paints. Of course, you can choose the colors uh, you would like to have. I have a red roof, a brown bottom with a little bit of white. I painted the white because I uh, already knew that um, later I will have a snow in that uh, piece. In, in that space that's why i painted the top of the bottom <laughs> part um, white and um, my acrylic paints are very opaque so i didn't have to use gesso but if you will be using different uh, paints maybe uh, watercolors or um, uh, paints which are not covering very well then you could use gesso to prime your project first. To decorate my uh, wishing well, I have chosen elements which are uh, red, wooden, white. I have berries, um, snowflakes and handmade flowers. Flowers I made out of paper using Lady Design cutting dies and uh, also I use them for the to die cut the leaves. Then I also have a few um, plastic leaves and I have a moss in a roll and uh, dry roots that that moss it's uh, it will be like a um, base for my composition it is very messy to uh, to use it because it had a lot of glitter um, and I'm kind of uh, spread spreading dividing I don't know how to uh, say that I'm just uh, ripping uh, that <laughs> <laughs> ribbon uh, because I want the the moss not be so in so like curled in one uh, bit I want it to sp spread it a little bit and also I will be using dry moss uh, most of those elements I have from the hobby craft I will try to add the links to them um, underneath the video I will see if I can also find that most in a roll because it was a, a, a nice thing to use uh, here but you could use a cheesecloth uh, colored in green uh, what else something what could give you the texture i'm going to create two compositions on the roof one bigger and the other one uh, smaller on both uh, sides and then a very little one on the side of the well and uh, for decorating that will be it uh, then another step will be to finish uh, the project to give it a snow a wintery uh, winter effect and without that finishing it doesn't look good so it's a very important step in making that project
to finish the project I'm uh, adding a uh, first layer of a snow. I'm using white gesso and the ordinary kitchen sponge cut into small piece and I will be uh, adding that gesso on the edges of my elements, on the whole composition, on the top uh, and the bottom of the bottom part. <laughs> everywhere on the moss that will be like a first layer of the snow and then I will use light paste to add uh, another layer of the snow this time I will be using a craft knife light paste is very uh, good uh, for imitating the snow and uh, I will be adding two layers so i will add one layer then wait a little bit for it to dry and then i will add another layer and in between uh, i'm going to add um, splats of uh, white acrylic paint and then when the light paste is still wet i am going to sprinkle everything with clear glitter which is a must <laughs> for a winter project. The glitter I'm using is called uh, Diamond Dust. It's, uh, it's uh, clear and it gives that uh, frosty effect. Absolutely, uh, I absolutely love that glitter. And then my wishing well is ready. I love it so much. I had great fun creating it and i'm really hoping that you will try as well even if not before christmas i know how busy everyone is then maybe in the new year and because it is only few days to christmas i want to wish you all the best have a wonderful time with your family with your friends even if you're not celebrating Christmas, have a nice time off. I'm hoping that you have a few, few days off. Relax, um, just enjoy that time, that season. And this will be it from me. Thank you very, very much for watching my videos, for commenting, for coming back. Thank, thanks a lot. Have a lovely creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.